China. Now, from the spy balloons to the lab leak, what is going on? What's going on, guys? I wanted to go over some breaking news today that I find very interesting. And not only interesting, but I think it's a uh, a win, an unfortunate win for people like me that are called a conspiracy theorist and don't believe everything the media um, wants us to believe because we all know that majority of them are puppets. So the U.S. Energy Department assesses with, quote unquote, low confidence that the C-19 may have originated from a Chinese lab leak. A lot of conservative has stated this idea for the past two, three years. But of course, they debunked it. And on Facebook, you got it covered and said the fact check and it's been debunked. It happened to me a couple of times. But let me go into the article. The Energy Department concluded with low confidence that the pandemic likely originated from a laboratory leak in Wuhan, China, according to a classified report delivered to key lawmakers in the House and Senate Intelligence Committees. Uh, let me go down further. Senator Dan Sullivan, a Republican in Alaska on Sunday, which is today, uh, called for an extensive public hearing if the U.S. intelligence community conclusively determines that the pandemic linked from a Chinese laboratory. Asked on NBC News Meet the Press about what the consequences should be if the U.S. makes the determination and then discovers it was covered up by Chinese government, Sullivan said that lawmakers must first have a public hearing on this and really dig into it. Yeah, the findings for me, it's so interesting because this is not the first time that anyone said that this was a laboratory leak and that it wasn't a random bat that caused this hysteria over the entire world. So I'm going back into old articles, and this one was in Forbes back in 2021. The Wuhan lab leak hypothesis is a conspiracy theory. It's not science. It's just those crazy people that believe that there's always something more that the media do not, will not, won't ever tell you. So a few years back, China did slam the idea that it was a lab leak. Uh, the World Health Organization stated this back in 2021. And it also, I do believe the FBI also stated that it was probably a lab leak that caused this pandemic. And China went off. Let me go through this um, article. The lab leak theory is totally a lie concocted by anti-China forces for political purposes, which has nothing to do with science. That we always supported and participated in science-based global virus tracing, but we firmly oppose any forms of political manipulation. He repeatedly calls for investigations into highly suspicious laboratories such as Fort such as Fort Derrick in Maryland and the University of North Carolina, where China has suggested, again, without evidence, that the United States was developing the coronavirus as a bioweapon. So you mean to tell me that China slammed the uh, World Health Organization for saying that it was probably a lab leak in China, but has the audacity to try to blame it on the U.S. And then with the new uh, breaking news today that it's probably a leak in China. What in the world now China? With these spy balloons and now still coming out that this was probably a lab leak. What's going on? What y'all got up? Looking very sus.